Oscillator A here. We have less controls to work with than we do here. We don't have the fine tuning. I can also add noise. Now I can also control the release sustain decay and attack of this so back to the way it was and take a look at what I can do with delay effects notice that I can apply a high cut to it and a low cut I can also invert signal and I can control feedback here Control the wetness or dryness of the signal. And the time it takes for the delay to work. Turn it on or off. Now, of course, we come to the master tune as well, which you can tune or detune your keyboard. So, again, this is all very useful. If you look at Polymod also up here. Master LFO. And you can trigger or hit the MIDI. You can also shape the LFO to be a sauce or a uh, triangle wave or a square or a little both. Same with the oscillators. If you notice also oscillator A and B, you have options between saw, square, and uh, on B triangle. So, like, let's just bring B up. Saw wave, triangle, saw. So anyway, that's a basic overview of the Pro 53. I will be back a little bit later with a little video on um, the presets and how to utilize them to their fullest capacity. I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com, and this has been Complete 5 in the Pro 53.